Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss The Power of the Dog, starring Benedict Cumberbatch, Kirsten Dunst, Jesse Plemons, and Cody Smith McPhee, directed by Jane Campion. Now, I watched this twice for Netflix, and do I feel good about it? Well, let's see. We start with chapter one in the story in Montana, 1925, where Frill Burbank, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, goes in the room of... Uh, of his George, of his brother George, played by Jesse Plemons, and comes off like an asshole to him, as he calls him fatso. For what reason? Well, I guess they're brothers. In my, but in my opinion, Benedict Cumberbatch doesn't pull off a cowboy accent too well, as his character felt the most hateful. And George doesn't do jack shit in this movie, as Jesse Plemons between this and Hostiles. He does okay, but he could do better than that, like in last year's... Like, look at last year's Judas and the Black Messiah, as that's a better made performance by Mr. Jesse Plemons. Peter Gordon, played by Cody Smith McPhee, make fake flowers as his brother's... as he and his brother Rose... and his sister Rose's house is being taken over by Phil and George and other cowboys... Rose is played by Jesse Plemons' real-life wife, Kirsten Dunst. And I swear to God, when I first saw this, I thought she was Peter's brother, but nope, she's his son, as Peter is being made fun of by Phil and the other cowboys, while Phil is the biggest asshole in this entire movie, and if you ask me, if you want me to relate with Peter, cut cast a different actor to play the role of Rose played by because Kirsten Dunst is a little too young to play a mother of, of a 20 something year old and at this point I can't relate with Peter because the character was bugging the shit out of me George's hears George hears Rose cry because of all the disrespect Phil gave her service as well as the food and he cheers her up by keeping her company where Phil and the other cowboys are out partying and so far, this movie is leaving me absolutely fucking cold. Well, like, what is this movie about? Because thus far, I don't know what this movie wants to be, as I'm confused about what this movie is about. Now, granted, I'm 21 minutes into the movie, as I gave... I have to give it another nine minutes to tell me what the plot of this movie is. Chapter 2 comes and Phil goes outside and sees a mountain that he believes he needs to see while George goes to the Rose's house to spend more time with her and help her serve some food. And honestly, I believe George is nothing of a character as he doesn't matter for this entire movie while Phil plays the guitar as his own music. And I'm getting the impression he's going to be the antagonist the entire movie as he's not smile menacing or con evil. But this performance is, in my opinion, the weakest the Academy could go for any year because he can't pull off the cowboy act as he needs to stop making the movies where he can't pull off the fucking accent. It's just not, it's not just here, but in Black Mask he was miscast as well. I mean, for fuck's sakes. George falls for Rose and decides to marry her. And can I just say it was too quick? And this is what's reminding me of Frozen where... They meet, they get married without knowing a damn thing about each other while Phil smacks the horse around and calling it a bitch, which was completely unnecessary scene in my opinion. Chapter 3 comes where George moves Rose and Peter in with him as George and Rose go to the middle of nowhere to practice dancing and the scene was awkwardly acted by the actual husband and wife, which is a real shame. Phil visits George and disrespects Rose by calling her a cheap schemer and tells her he's not her brother, which is rather harsh, as I'm not liking any of the characters, as it should be obvious, as I don't like the performances they're giving. Hell, I'm still shocked as hell that Benedict Cumberbatch is nominated for this performance, as The Imitation Game is a better performance than here. They have maids around named Mrs. Moeller and Lola, who's played by Thomas and Mackenzie, and what is she doing here is beyond me while George brings in a piano despite she can't play well. At one point, she practices and Phil, and Phil plays the guitar to antagonize her playing. And that scene comes off painful. Painful! George talks with Phil about getting some people together for dinner as Rose asks for Phil to get washed up. And as nighttime comes, they have dinner together and she briefly plays the piano terribly. 
and Phil comes in and once again antagonizes her. The scene was awkwardly acted, but don't get me wrong. The movie is well made, but the acting is not that great, as it was miscasting that throws me off, as I still don't know what this movie is about. Chapter 4 comes, and Rose picks up Peter and takes him to the ranch, and Phil and the Cowboys make fun of Peter by circling around him as he arrives while Rose starts drinking behind George's back and gets migraines as Peter traps a rabbit and brings it inside the ranch and as Lola comes into Peter's room and sees Peter killed the rabbit for surgery reasons. And that was rather fucking random as the second half is pretty dry as we see Rose getting more migraines and keeps drinking to get rid of it, which I don't believe works at all in general. It makes the pain 10 times worse while Phil spies on her, which is weird and preposterous. Phil bathes in the water and catches Peter, seeing him to do so, chasing after him, which is pretty fucking ho which is a pretty fucking hokey scene. While Peter goes to a secret stash, he hides in the middle of the forest while it feels it feels odd. Chapter 5 comes as the Cowboys set up camp in the middle of the woods as Peter, George, and Rose arrive at, and Peter gets picked on and gets called a faggot. As Peter tells, as Peter, as Phil tells Peter to call him Phil and tells him they've got off on the wrong foot, uh, no shit, and decides to make friends with Peter, bad idea, while giving him a rope, and the writing in this is getting from bad to horrible, in my opinion. As this is the this is the worst movie I've seen in my life, but Phil makes Peter distant from Rose, so he doesn't make a sissy out of him. And that is and that's when I start thinking this movie is bad, but not horrible. But the writing is horrible in my opinion, but it's as it's also unfortunately a little too long for two hours and eight minutes. As the plot goes absolutely no fucking where. Phil and Peter go to the mountain and that I brought up in the beginning of the movie and pat, poke a hole on a dead cow with a glove on, which was nasty, while Rose gets out of bed and worries about Peter while going out in the wilderness with Phil, telling Peter to kill a rabbit as he did for the second time as the, I'm calling him the rabbit killer at this point in the film. And Phil tells Peter his mother has been drinking a lot of alcohol, and this final 30 minutes is overstretched to the two length of two hours of eight and eight, ah, Jesus Christ, and eight minutes, as it's getting completely boring. Rose runs outside to tell the Indians Mrs. Muller was talking with to the take the hives as she feels something soft, and the score is kind of obnoxious as Rose fell down unconsciously while Phil and Peter come back to the ranch and see the hives are all gone, thanks to Rose, the drunk, also, and hopefully she'll be out of it by the end of the movie, but I'm guessing not. As Phil tells George the truth about her, drunk, her as a drunk, and that moment was too melodramatic as this whole fucking movie, Phil's feeling ill the next day and is taken to the hospital as he passes by Rose, without saying a damn word while Peter is still alive, as I'm led to believe he is, he put some poison on the cigarette he smoked on and with Phil as he dies, and honestly, good fucking riddance, because the character is the biggest bug the shit out of me for antagonizing behavior, and they have the funeral, and I honestly don't really care by the end of the day, as I don't really care for this movie. And I'm about to tell you why in the next segment. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 3.7 out of 10. The movie left me pretty cold as the performances are terrible with some miscasting as I've never related nor did I like the characters. The movie is rather dry that left me completely cold to the point it's very lengthy and it's a little too long and overstretched for two hours and eight minutes. The score is obnoxious, the cinematography is dry, to look at as the directing is poorly done by Gene Campion as unfortunately at the end of the day I don't think this should win any awards in my opinion nor best picture please for the love of God don't let it win best picture I am afraid it might but I don't want it to because it's way too melodramatic so I'd like to thank you guys for joining me and I will be back next time with a couple of series that a couple of directors that I have yet to get back to and until then
And the Oscar goes to.